Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I am back again with another video. Welcome to the channel. This channel is called Live Narc Free. It is all about inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life, as well as getting free and staying free away from the narcissists. All right, so if this is your first time listening in, um, I have been dealing with narcissists since 2010, and since 2016, I have been helping people overcome narcissistic abuse. All right, so today I have a really good topic. Um, I wanted to talk about how to regain your confidence after dealing with narcissistic abuse along with dealing with a narcissist. Um, this is really important because I know that a lot of us, we deal with you know low confidence and low self-esteem, whether this was pre-narc or during dealing with the narcissist, like your time, and then after the you know, your relationship with the narcissist, we deal with having low self-esteem, low confidence. And, you know, some of us, our confidence may have been high prior to the narc. Some of us, you know, we may have had high self-esteem. We may have had a lot going for ourselves, but, you know, after we get discarded by the narc or after we leave the narc, our confidence just goes downhill, right? Now, um, me, myself, I know I lost a lot of confidence in myself. I lost confidence in other people. And I also lost confidence in life. And some of you guys may feel the same way. But it is definitely a challenge to kind of um, get that back. Um, because, again, those are in that moment during those times, a lot of us, if we get discarded by the narc, we feel worthless. Um, we fear being alone forever. You know, we feel... Um, hopeless. We feel like we don't matter. We don't have any value. Nobody wants us. You know, a lot of us, we isolate ourselves. We feel unattractive. We feel ugly. Some of us, we even feel like we deserved that kind of treatment, you know. Um, but definitely understanding um, that what the narcissist did to you was not about you. It was more so about the narc. And I think one of the things that helped me regain my confidence was not internalizing what the narcissist did to me, you know, understand that I was dealing with someone that had a personality disorder and that this person was not capable of change because if they were capable of change, they would have, you know, worked on themselves and understood, you know, they would have looked at their mistakes. They would have looked at their actions and see that how it would affect others around them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that definitely will help you to regain your confidence. Um, also, for me, I, you know, really started focusing on things that made me happy, my hobbies. And a lot of us, you know, we had hobbies prior to dealing with the narcissist. And even when in a relationship, you may have had hobbies, but you guys know that the narcissist gets you to fully focus on them, to turn your attention to, on them, to care for the narc, to um, have your your whole life revolved around a narcissist that we get lost in the relationship. We get lost in um, what's going on with the narc and we forget about ourselves. We forget about our needs. We forget about our wants. We forget about our hobbies. Right. And so what helped me to get to regain my confidence back was to focus on, um, you know, doing yoga. I definitely a yogi. You guys hear me talking about that a lot. Um, been doing yoga since 2000 and was it 2008? Um, and how I got started, I always wanted to share this with you guys. But I remember I was um, going to college, um, this junior college back in California. And I remember I chose all of my classes. But you guys know, like sometimes they they say you have to do like an elective or, you know, a curriculum activity for one of your courses. And there were so many sports that I could have done. There was like a lot of options. Um, but w when I seen yoga, like I was like, that's different. I never heard of it. And I always thought it would be cool to try it out. So I did uh, the yoga class. I didn't have any expectations. I, I remember that I had to get like a mat. Right. And um, I remember the first class that I took. I loved it, you know, and I love that feeling that I got once I what I left the class, I, I didn't have any thoughts. My mind was so peaceful. I was like just really content in that moment. And I was like, I want to feel this feeling forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's really why I started doing yoga. Um, and you guys know with um, COVID going on, a lot of people don't um, do yoga, I guess, like in the 
the formal way, like how they would do it, like in a studio. Sometimes they do do it. I know you can do like in nature. They do have uh, free yoga. I remember when I lived in um, Long Beach, California, they I did go to the uh, free yoga classes, which I did that during the period of time when I was um, in no contact with the narc. And it really helped me to clear my mind, to be at peace for that period of time, to help me to stop torturing myself and to help my mind to relax and not obsess and ruminate over everything that happened. I, I just remember like feeling so sad and feeling so heartbroken after everything that occurred. But after the end of the class, I, I was at peace and I was at ease. So I would definitely recommend that. And even again, um, if you're not able to go to a studio, definitely um, YouTube search yoga. Um, highly, highly recommended practicing at home. I do believe if you get a mat or like a towel or something like that would definitely be great. But anyway, um, so yeah, doing that. Also, I don't know you guys mentioned me saying that I did modeling. Um, and I'm going to tell you the story behind that, you guys, because I am not the kind of person where I do things for attention or I'm looking for any kind of attention like that. Right. But I just do things if it makes me feel good. And if I believe in it, you know what I mean? But um, I remember um, one day in particular, I was at uh, Starbucks. It was kind of close by to where I was staying at. And I think this was around Thanksgiving time or like the holiday time. And this guy, he was from Poland. I, I remember specifically, I went in there, I ordered my coffee and he was just looking at me. And I was thinking like, okay. <laughs> so um, apparently he walks up to me and he was like, hey, are you a model? And I was like, no, I'm not a model. And he was like, well, you should be. And I was like, oh, thank you, you know? And so he gave me his card and he was like, hey, if you ever want a model, I'd love to take pictures of you. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, just let me know what you think. And I was like, OK, I was a little nervous because you guys know how that can kind of how the industry can be. You know, um, especially in L.A., there's all kinds of things in that kind of um, entertainment industry that I, you know, didn't really want to be a part of. But um I actually went for it, you guys. I decided to take him up on his offer. He didn't charge me. It was like a little photo shoot that I did like in the alleyway, super like vintage, super chill, laid back. But it was great. And the pictures turned out pretty nice. And obviously I brought my friend with me, my best friend. Um, and it was good. And then um, as the time went on, I kept, you know, um, meeting up and um connected with people that, you know, we did like trade for print kind of thing. So I would take, they would take pictures of me and I would have pictures for my portfolio. You know what I mean? So it was really cool in that way. And I actually got to take some really, really good pictures. But during that time period, I was, you know, um, that was post narc. Like I was no longer in contact with the narc. That was when he discarded me and I had pretty much moved on with my life, but, you know, getting in front of the camera and, you know, just expressing myself and just being myself and showcasing like who I was and the new me, my beauty, like it really helped me to regain my confidence. So if any of you guys have any hobbies or the things that you really like, whether it's cooking, it's drawing, singing, um, traveling. And again, with COVID going on, it probably can be like kind of limited to none. Um, but even if you can just go out for a walk and go for a hike in nature, that would be great as well. Like a little mini getaway, even if it's within the proximity, um, definitely do it. Um, yeah, whatever it is that your hobby is, go for it. Focus, begin to focus on yourself because that's really going to help you to regain your confidence back. Because again, we are so self-absorbed with the narc. We, our lives become centered around the narcissist and it's hard for us to see anything that's going on within ourselves. It's hard for us to remember that, hey, we we matter, we, we're important and we are valuable and we have, you know, the right to have our needs met. You know what I mean? And it's not supposed, our life is not supposed to be revolved around the narcissist, but you know, that's how they get us to be, Right. So always keep that in mind. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is the books that I read that really helped me to gain my self-confidence, right? Now, um, you guys mentioned me and you heard me say that in the other video that I made with how I overcame depression, but I didn't really go too deep on the books 
probably I did some of them, but not all of them. But if you want to write this down, um, definitely Google these books. It really changed my life and it could definitely change yours as well. So um, the first book was called The Seat of the Soul. All right. The next book was called um, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hayes. Right. Um, and actually, I didn't mention these books either. But um, Think and Grow Rich is another really good book that could help build your self-confidence. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Another great book. Um, actually, a book that I'm reading right now is um, Retire Young and Retire Rich, also by Robert Kiyosaki. Mm, excuse me. Robert Kiyosaki, another great author. He's amazing. Um, the Alchemist is really good. Um, the Four Agreements is another great book. A New Earth by Eckhart, um, Eckhart Holy, I believe that's his name. Um, and I don't know if I said You Can Live Your Dreams by Les Brown, another great author, another great book. Um, the Power of Now is also really good. Um, so those are the books that I read. There was like a few more that I didn't mention. I probably have to get the um, the titles of them in another video, but definitely start with those books, you guys. It would really, really, really help you very much so. And I do, what was the other, I think it was The Power of Positivity or The Power of Positive Thinking. Um, definitely Google that book. Um, and to be honest with you guys, um, you guys know it's like post Black Friday, um, and Cyber Monday, if you go on eBay, like a lot of the books now are like super cheap, like $4. So um, I would highly recommend um, getting those books if you're able to. Um, it would definitely help you um, regain your self-confidence. Um, so, and the other thing was um, I, I seek support. I definitely talk to others that went through what I've gone through, which again, I always recommend um, you know, talk to people that have dealt with narcissistic abuse because no one else can understand what it is that you've gone through. No one else can validate your experience besides a person that has gone through it. Right. And that's the only thing is like, although I did do counseling for a year, I wish I would have had a coach that had been through narcissistic abuse. Because the person that I did counseling with, she didn't go through narcissistic abuse. So she didn't really understand the pain. She didn't understand the trauma that I went through. So it wasn't like she could really relate to me. You know what I mean? She didn't understand what I went through. She could just only have empathy and sympathy, but it's not like she went through it. You know what I mean? It's different. So I highly recommend you guys seek support. Reach out to me. You guys know um, I do have many um, coaching. Um, well, the first coaching program is Overcome Narcissistic Abuse. Um, so that could definitely help you again, where I would work with you for a 90 day period. And any challenges and struggles that you may have, uh, whether it's present and even um, in the past, we will definitely work on that. I will guide you. I mean, I'm not going to do the work for you, but of course, you're going to have to be the one that wants that change, that wants that transformation. You know what I mean? So um, so that's that. And then also I do have the other um, audio and video courses. If you guys go on my website, I have um, seven steps to moving on from narcissistic abuse, which is an audio course, five signs that you're dealing with a narcissist, because some of us, we still need to understand how to tell if you're dealing with a narcissist, right? Because sometimes it can be tricky because the narcissist can really, can, they can fool us. They could get us to believe that they're normal and they're really not. And so having that knowledge, having that awareness and understanding will really help you, you know, moving forward. And then also um, I do have the pathway to a healing um, emotionally at the narcissistic abuse because we are human beings. We're spiritual beings, but we're human. So we're going to have emotions and the narcissist messes us up emotionally in a way that no one else can ever do. So being able to heal that is crucial because you're not going anywhere. You're always going to be with you, right? And you're always going to have people that come in and out of your life. But you are going to remain there and you're going to have those emotions. So if you're not able to handle those emotions and understand those emotions and be able to control those emotions, then, you know, you're just going to be all over the place and people are going to think you're toxic. People are going to think you're unhealthy and that you're the problem. So you really got to make sure that you understand how to heal those emotions, right? After dealing with narcissistic abuse, right? So definitely I highly recommend getting that, um, that audio course as well. And then I do actually have a free download is letting go of the narcissist. That's a free download. Again, um, there's a link below because I get it. 
it's hard to let go of something that you're familiar with. It's hard to start over. It's hard to begin again and to meet someone else and um, start over or just be, you know, move on with your life and just return to that person that you was before. Be that normal person that you was pre-narc, right? Um, and without all those, without all that baggage, without all that you know, um, the, all those memories, those negative memories of you and the narc. So letting all that go is very important as well. So definitely that is available for free download. All right. And so the other thing that would really help you to, um, regain your confidence after dealing with the narcissist and after narcissistic abuse is, and this is what's helped me. Everyone is different. Um, but me making videos about what happened to me in regards to the narcissist. And I understand that not everybody is going to do that. But even if you just got to do some, um, maybe a time period where you just watch a lot of videos about narcissists, that's cool too. But don't get it to where it's an obsession. Like eventually you have to stop doing that research and eventually you have to actually move on or you have to get that help that you need in order to be able to say, all right, this happened to me. It doesn't define me, but I could go on with my life at the same time. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, so that's that. But yeah, that this is just what's helped me. Now, this is this one is only for those that feel like they want to get into that field of, you know, coaching other people and helping other people overcome narcissistic abuse. That's what has helped me regain my confidence, because I don't know if you if I ever told you guys this story was um, because people always ask me, like, well, what made you get onto this path of, you know, um, helping other people overcome narcissistic abuse? Why did you do it? What prompt you? And for me, I always say that I was hurt. I, I was so sad. I was disappointed. I, I I was humiliated. I didn't know who to go to, who to talk to, what to feel, because I felt like no one understood me. I felt like all of my friends around me did not understand because they didn't deal with a narcissist. So that's that's a, a problem that we deal with as victims of narcissistic abuse and as survivors is that most people around us don't deal with it. So when you're trying to talk to them about it, when you're trying to um, connect with them and have them understand what it is that you've been through or then they don't get it. So, I mean, although they'll listen to you, but they can't really feel you. They can't relate right? Because they have not gone through it. And that's a lot of us, that's our problem. So um, you definitely want to make sure that you are talking and connecting to people that can really validate your experience. And that can really um, help you to understand that you're not alone and that the whoever you talk to overcame it, you can overcome it too. But it it does, it's not gonna be overnight. It's gonna take time, right? It's gonna take patience and your willingness and your dedication and your commitment to a better life and your commitment to being more happier, being more fulfilled, being more successful in life, right? So yeah, but what I was saying is in regards to um me making videos, like I said, I, I was just down. I wasn't, I was in a bad place. And I was like, you know, if I can share my story and I could let people know what I went through, if that can help someone, then I would feel better. I would feel more confident about myself. I would feel like, okay, God, I didn't go through this for no reason. You know what I mean? It was a reason for all of my pain. Like it just, it didn't go in vain. Right. You guys know Bob Marley has a song. I don't want to wait in vain your love or um you know he just like uh like he's not waiting in vain like all his work and all his heart the love that he felt for someone is not going in vain right so it's like all the pain that we feel is not going in vain right but um yeah so when, there was a video in particular called the narcissist um well first i had made two videos i think it was my experience with the narc and I talked about the female narcissist, which you guys know my aunt was a narcissist. I lived with her for five years. But there was one video in particular called The Narcissist Has a New Girlfriend and a New Supply. 
that video got about 10,000 views. And I think it had about 60 comments within like two weeks where people was like, Joy, oh my God, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you. This video helped me to heal. This video helped me to understand why I went through what I went through. You were strong. Um, thank you for being so courageous. Thank you for, you know, being you. Thank you for being real and authentic. And I was like, Okay, so I know why I'm what I'm meant to do, right? <laughs> because um, I, and I do remember a time when I was, you know, going through a period where I was in isolation, where I didn't want to be around people, where I didn't want to trust people, where I didn't even want to trust myself, right? And I asked God, I was like, God, what is my life purpose? What am I supposed to do? And long and behold, He did answer my prayer, but it came in a way where I didn't even imagine what could even be possible, right? <laughs> So that's the beauty of God. But um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all that I have to say in regards to um, regaining confidence after dealing with um, narcissists and after narcissistic abuse. Um, again, trust me, I understand like the narcissists, they will kill your confidence at all costs. Dealing with them, it will kill your spirit. It will kill your soul. They will kill your dreams. But at the end of the day, it's up to us to get back up and to know that our life has meaning. Our life has value. We deserve better. We can be successful. We don't have to fear being alone. We don't have to fear like no one wants us. We don't have to fear starting over again and fear like maybe we'll meet another narcissist um, because potentially you could meet another narcissist. But the beauty of it is that you will have the knowledge, you will have the awareness and the understanding so that way you can recognize it and, you know, protect yourself and keep yourself safe away from those kind of individuals. Right. So, um, yes, you guys, I hope that again, that this made sense and it resonated. Please leave your feedback on what you learned. Um, if this was helpful and insightful and please share this if you think that this can help other people as well. Um, and I do have a special announcement. I do have another um, coaching program that is going to be coming out soon. I will keep you guys posted, but I do want to let you guys know um, it's going to be really good. It's pretty much going to be a follow up from overcoming narcissistic abuse. That's my first um, 90 day coaching program. But this coaching program is going to be called um, pain into power. So turning your pain into power. I think that's so beautiful because when we go through pain, a lot of us feel like that's just it. You know, there's nothing else beyond the pain that we become that pain. But to know that you can turn your pain into power is beautiful. And I absolutely love it. So I'll keep you posted on that and let you know when I'll be coming out with that. But definitely be on the lookout. Um, but as I said, um, make sure that you guys do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget, you guys, I am offering free 30-minute support sessions. Um for those that need help with overcoming narcissistic abuse or those that just need support or just want to talk and vent about anything that you've gone through dealing with a narcissist and or um, I do I am offering consultations for those that um, would like to learn more about how they can overcome narcissistic abuse while working with me one on one in my 90 day coaching program. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, don't forget to check out my other video and my audio courses. Um, definitely will be of help to you guys, especially those that are, if it's a challenge, it's a struggle, you know, um, you know, with overcoming um, narcissistic abuse, which I'm sure it is because it's never easy and it's definitely not overnight, but you don't want to do it alone because the thing about it is, again, I wish I would have had somebody that I could come to and go in their coaching program. Cause again, I, it would have helped me to heal faster. I would have been able to move on quicker. I would have been able to, I wouldn't have been so obsessive. I wouldn't have been ruminating and, you know, having all these fears and worries and doubts. I, it would have just been like, okay, I got somebody that I could talk to. I got an expert that I'm talking to, you know, someone that's been through with someone that could keep me on track, someone that can hold me accountable, someone that will be there for me, that knows what they're doing, someone that, um, you know, that's gone through it, you know what I mean? And someone that will be there for me, helping me step by step. If you mess up, don't worry about it, get back on track, you know what I mean? So just, um, 
definitely, I highly recommend if you guys are interested, hit me up. You can also email me, livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. Anyways, you guys, I love you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And again, please leave your experience on how um, maybe did you become, um, are you still struggling with confidence or how did you regain your confidence? I love to hear you guys' experience on how you did it. And um, or even if you still need help with that, let me know. I love to hear from you. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. I love you guys. Hope you have a great Sunday and I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.